friends welcome back to my channel it's rachel here so today is episode four in the final episode of getting right for 2021 and today is going to be all about zero waste let's get started so back in my vision board video if you checked it out i talked a little bit about a goal that i think we should all aim to achieve this year and that is going zero waste it kind of sounds a little crazy so let's talk a little bit more about what zero waste really is so the main or i'd say like the big picture goal with zero waste lifestyle is to try and send as little waste to the landfill as possible now using the word zero can be kind of intimidating because especially in america we are consumers so getting it down to zero is hard i really like this blog that i follow on pinterest Interest about zero waste lifestyle and they talk about this circular economy normally we live in a linear one which means that we consume and then we throw it away and it just goes away forever a circular economy helps that you reuse so you reuse what you have consumed and I think that's a very good way to put it so with that you want to make sure you're recycling everything that you can recycle using reusable containers just being aware of materials that are biodegradable that will be okay in the landfill so i will go ahead and link that blog down below because i feel like they do a much better job of describing it to you i want to share with you today some of the products that i use to help eliminate this waste in my life and hopefully you can kind of use these same things in your life all of these products will be linked down below in the description for you to go check out i would say the biggest way that i have tried to minimize my waste is getting rid or eliminating those single-use paper products around the house so the first one i want to talk about is a reusable roll of paper towels it sounds so crazy i know these are so good so this is actually my second roll that i have this is like i think i tore it too off so far but it's a good size this is eight dollars on amazon and when you think about how much you use paper towels it is such a good deal they say that one of these lasts for six months these are machine washable it recommends hand washable i put them in the machine just on the delicate kit cycle and you must air dry them so let me show you like they just tear off and then obviously after you wash them i kind of just roll them back on the middle tube to create the roll again they are so nice and stretchy and they're really thick material so i just use them as i would regular paper towel i clean with them i wash my produce with them so they are super good and everyone should have a roll of these they save you so much money and also space like that's a big thing why i kind of got rid of these products is because i don't have space in my apartment to store paper towels and toilet paper no that i still have to use disposable but i don't have room to store all of these paper goods so finding reusable ones has helped me save space so to only spend eight dollars on a roll of paper towels for six months is a pretty good deal i know we used to buy the costco huge pack and i'm pretty sure that's like twenty dollars so i think it's a good investment and also with all the cleaning that we've been doing during the pandemic these will definitely be put to good use okay so next product i want to talk about is the silicone bags that replace just the single-use plastic bags that you use to pack lunch or snacks or just little things to keep them together i love these i have an entire like bin in my cabinet of these so i have these two sizes for now they come with so many half gallon they have some that stand straight up they have these small ones that i really want to get for like my toiletries bag or traveling on amazon right now for 46 dollars you get a pack of five which is such a good deal. They come out to about $11 a piece with that deal. And with these, I started using these about two years ago and I spent 15 to $20 just on like one. They are so durable and I really like that they're silicone. I think that the material holds up a little better than some of the other reusable plastic bag they're freezer proof you can even put them in the oven i put them in the microwave to heat up leftovers i love them so much they save you so many plastic bags and like for me i pack my lunch nearly every day or at least snacks so i really put them to good use next thing i want to talk about is my utensils that are on the go so i put this also in my lunch bag inside they house so many different things there's straws two kinds of straws a straight straw and then the one with the little bendy 
um, a straw cleaner, fork, spoon, knife, and even a pair of chopsticks. They're such good quality. They're all stainless steel, dishwasher safe. Having them in this nice little pouch is so handy. I feel like sometimes utensils can be one of those things that you forget to pack in your lunch. So just knowing that you got this baby right in there is so nice. And then you don't have to use those plastic ones in the staff lounge or anything like that. Now let's talk about reusable straws. This is... Ooh, could be an art really there's so many out there so I'm gonna share with you some of my favorites and some that I have first let's talk about the traditional metal straw I like metal straws but then the longer I was using them I just really didn't like them and how they feel and touch my teeth I do still use metal straws I just I don't know I've grown to like others once I started kind of getting bothered by the way that they feel in my mouth I switched to silicone so these are kind of nice because they bend. You can like fold it up and put it in your purse or whatever you want to do with it. Then these are too squishy. So the metal ones are too, they hurt my teeth and then these are too squishy. So really it's just so hard. I do use them when I'm drinking like water or things that are a little bit easier to digest, not so thick. And they have no plastic in them. So another great material. Now let's talk about my all-time favorite reusable straw material and that is glass straws. I love these so much. So I have this pack and it is four straight ones and then four bendy ones and two cleaners. They're super big so drinking like a protein shake or a smoothie isn't hard to do in these and again they're like hard but they don't feel like just straight metal on my teeth so I really love them and I highly recommend. I'm not sure if you've noticed but all of these materials are actually not plastic. The kind of plastic that we've been used to um, all of our lives. So that is another big point about zero waste is finding those biodegradable materials or materials that are a little less taxing on the environment like plastic. With that being said, I really tried to eliminate single-use plastic water bottles and this is kind of a challenge for me because I do love certain water and how they taste and I notice if I'm like dehydrated I just go and quickly pick up a huge bottle of water and it's just easier that way it's been a challenge but I found these cute glass water bottles a set of six is only $21 they are glass this top is stainless steel with silicone to make sure it's airtight so what I've been doing is I have all six filled with water and in my fridge just like you would have you know plastic water bottles in there and I really like it for myself because I don't always remember to fill up my pitcher I'm sure some of you can relate but then I also like it because if someone comes over to my house I can just give them one of these and it's just like giving them a plastic water bottle it's just so much easier and I spend way less money on plastic water bottles that just end up in the landfill so this is probably one of my favorite purchases for zero waste so far so let me show you some of my favorite reusable bags I got a pack of 10 on Amazon for $24 which kind of seems like a lot but it only comes out to about $2.40 for each and I feel like that's just the same price that you pay for the ones you see at the store I love these ones because I am a big Costco shopper and they have a super wide base and they are so durable. So I can fit all those huge boxes that you get at Costco into these and they fit super nice and I can carry them up the stairs to my apartment. So I really love these bags and I highly recommend if you are someone who shops at Costco and you want a bag that actually fits the boxes and the packaging there. Another bag that I use while grocery shopping is a produce bag before COVID. I didn't really use those like plastic bags that you put your produce in at the store just because I wasn't as worried about germs because you should be washing your fruits and vegetables after you buy them. Then I found these and I have a two pack from Trader Joe's. They were kind of expensive. I just bought them on a whim because they were right there and convenient. So down below I linked a pack on Amazon and there's like different sizes. There's small, medium, and large but $8 compared to $4 for two so I really like these just to have while I'm in the store to put my fruits and vegetables so that way they're not just on the conveyor belt checking out mixed in with everybody else's stuff next product I use are these 
is reusable cotton pads or makeup remover pads they are so good i've been using them for about a year now and it's funny because two months ago i was just in target and i'm like oh let me see how much a pack is just just for emergencies you know it was like four dollars so i got a pack of 18 of these and a little bag to put them in the washer in for ten dollars so that is such a steal one of these replaces a thousand cotton pads 1000 cotton pads which is one of these and that's pretty amazing i mean i watched skincare videos on youtube and some people use like seven per routine and i think that's crazy so a pack of these can really do wonders that eliminates a lot of waste and last product that i want to talk about is a wool dryer ball i know what you're thinking that's kind of weird these replace the dryer sheets that you put in the dryer with your clothes and it's amazing how these do wonders so i was a little skeptical at first i bought a six pack they say they last for about six months and then you need to replace them they decrease static they create less wrinkles in your clothes and it's amazing because that's really true like i feel like when i was just using dryer sheets my clothes were way more wrinkly they also which is probably my favorite reason for them they also decrease the amount of time it takes to fully dry a load and i know dryer sheets do come with fragrance and that's a whole nother video for another day about fragrances and how toxic they could be you can still put like essential oil blends on these to make your clothes smell good but i noticed that my clothes just smell like my detergent i use in the washer so i really love these and they also save space i just house them right in my dryer waiting for the next load hey y'all so those were just a few products that i love to use i would say those are my staples in my home to help create a little less waste coming out of my space so i hope that you enjoyed them i feel like if we all just took one tip from today or just did one thing it can help the environment so much more and just remembering to recycle as much as you can just being a little bit more conscious of what you consume can do a lot as well so with that being said that is the end of this video go ahead and like and comment down below if you enjoyed it and if you aren't subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below for more videos to come i will see y'all next time.